The sky at night is saying, the stars, the moon. And now, my lucky 44th little Dutch boy, you must scrub Daddy Carol. Goddamn, you take a vacation and you never hear the end of it. Fucking shit. You know, I was taking a bit of a sabbatical from Spacticles here. Yeah, I just, uh, I've reached my limit of bullshit with him, and it was getting really hard to even tolerate looking at this shit. I mean, for God's sakes, guys, he doesn't just review a game. He j you know, it's a fucking series. He can't sit down and say, yeah, this game is good. No, he's got to talk about everything relating to the game. And God, it's like, just, it's getting open brain surgery. And you're sitting there and you're like, God, when is it going to end? It's just, ah, oh, damn. You know what it reminds me of? Anybody ever play Resident Evil Survivor? Seriously. There is a fucking part in that game where they're talking about a uh, specific chemical they need to get to make, you know, all the big bad monsters and shit. And the way they get it is by making somebody become afraid. And so they have to go into the brain after that person becomes fearful and pull the shit out of the pituitary gland. So do you know what way they came up with to get this shit out of the person? They fucking do surgery on them. When they're awake, they don't use anesthetic. The person's screaming as they're cracking the skull open, and they're afraid by then. So when they rip out the pituitary gland, they get plenty of the shit they're looking for. That's what it feels like I'm doing. It feels like I'm getting, you know, feels like somebody's cracking my fucking head open and ripping out shit. You know, and there's no anesthesia. I got no mercy here. God, it's just, oh. It's really the same thing. Every Spax review is the same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? It all starts out with him sitting in front of the camera. Well, oh, hello there, gamer fans. You know, doing his fucking thing, talking about, you know, blah blah blah. Uh, this is a game I'm gonna review, and blah blah blah. You know, and he's got some shitty soundtrack. You know, he can't pick a decent sound clip. All right, I may not have the best taste in music, but by God, man, at least I mix it up a little bit. Every one of these videos has started with something different. You know, a little techno, some rap, some rock, it doesn't fucking matter. But I'm mixing the shit up. But he's picking stuff that's fucking horrible. Yeah, you know, what the fuck? So, you know, it has a shitty music that lays over, and he, you know, does his introduction. And then he spends like two or three minutes talking about shit not related to the game. You know, oh, this is how I feel about Sonic Gamer fans. You know, going on and on at length about shit I don't care about. And then he gets into the game, and he talks about it for five seconds. And then he goes off and he bitches about voice acting. And he's always going to have, like, five categories of sound. Who does that? God, I don't give a shit if there's a difference between sound effects, voice acting, music, and weapon effects. You know what? How about you just call the fucking thing sound and tell me, is it good or is it bad? And if it's bad, maybe you can elaborate on it. And you can say, oh, it was bad because. But you don't need to break it up into 20 fucking sections. <laughs> yeah, and I just got the irony of that, so fuck off, if any yeah, because I'm doing like a hundred sections on this, but fuck you. Alright, <laughs> the irony did hit me on that. Ugh. So anyway, yeah, so I took a vacation. I needed to, I needed to fuck a girl and to, you know, have some fun and <laughs> go to a party and do shit like that, and I feel a little bit recharged here. <laughs> God, man, <laughs> I'm watching this guy on my computer, why am I doing that? I could be doing anything else. Oh, I gotta remember the point of this. It's my point of this, and it's, yeah, my grand fucking plan. <laughs> Why do I feel like my grand plan is going to be about as successful as Starscream's plan when it comes to taking over and, you know, kicking Megatron off the team? Fuck. So, anyway, we're on part 5D, we're going into it, and good old Spax is, he's taking a break from Sonic. You know, I think he burnt out a little bit on that, like I burnt out on him a little bit. So, he's moving into uh, Mario Brothers. And not just, you know, like, he couldn't just do Mario Brothers or one of the Mario games. Uh, he's got to do all of them. 
but he can't even do it like a normal series. It can't just be like Mario Brothers throughout history, right? You know, here's a retrospective. You know, try a game trailers type approach. No, no. He's going to do just Mario on the fucking virtual console. Because we all know how different those games are from the normal ones, right? <laughs> like, okay, like, anybody want to play Spot the Difference? Anybody want to take the time to make a video and do Spot the Difference between the normal version of a fucking game and the V, or uh, <laughs> V, and the Wii version of it? Guess what? There's probably not going to be a lot of differences. Nothing worth doing a video review about, for God's sake, man. But Spax is going to do it. So, fuck it. Let's jump into it. Oh, God, this abortion of a review is about to begin, folks. Rated E for everyone. Rated R for robbery, and that's 44. Hello, gamer fans. Spax here. Welcome to segment four of Cartoon Network ASN Game Reviews. I've been gaming for a while, and my first game system was the NES. Here's a visual demonstration of the controller. In case you're too retarded to know what an NES is. Got into was Mario. No, the first series he got into was Ray. For me about retro games. Most of them are on the Wii. Well, oh, another oh, controller. I love how he demonstrates what he's talking so about. Because <laughs> I'm fucking retarded. I somehow slapped my keyboard and got to this review without knowing what video games are. So, everyone, get ready for... 10 to 1 he asphyxiates himself with that in bed. <laughs> oh, God, what is this? Nice borders. Way to, way to use a paint program professionally, fat boy. The first game I ever played. So yes, gamer fans. Three lives, and you're allowed to play as one player or two players. Seriously? Mario and the second player, Luigi. Oh, come on, man. Nobody's this retarded. Everybody like knows this game. Like the super mushroom, which oh, you thank you. Super I thought it, you know, killed me. That's why I always ran away from the, the mushrooms. The flower turns you into fire, Mario, and gives you a weapon. <laughs> oh, God. Fireballs. You shoot them, and you kill your enemies. Oh, well, <laughs> of course. The man makes you invincible for about 10 to 12 seconds. Oh, thank you for that estimate. You could have just timed it, but thanks for just guesstimating. Since you're being all professional and Another shit. Another cool thing about this game is that you get a variety of enemies. No, Goombas, you don't. Koopas, Paracoopas, Fuzzy Beetles, Hammer Brothers, <laughs> hey, Brothers, You got Goombas, Goombas Goopers, Plants, Goopers, and uh, Turtles. Bullet that's bills, that's and about it. Of course, Bowser. Bowser, like yeah. Controls, jumping, running, shooting, and swimming. <laughs> <in all games>. <laughs> <laughs> they really mixed it up with the, the gameplay. The game you can run, or you can jump. That's <laughs> genius! Running, jumping over holes, avoiding enemies, breaking some bricks <laughs> in the first level. God! Is he really doing this? They feature the same thing. Is he seriously going to try and explain the series to us? The third level of each I mean, my god, man, I'd rather have Billy MC give me the ins and the outs of Mario Brothers. Electrical Beast could do it, you know? Anybody but Spax. At least those two would be entertaining. You know? Billy really puts his heart into it. But Spax is treating us like we're retarded. Like we've never heard of the game before. Nobody is as stupid, man. Everybody knows this game. Even people who don't play video games know it. God, what a dipshit. This game is pretty good so far. No, I think it's horrible. God. An awesome glitch. No. You lie. Yeah, the minus the world. Minus world is basically That's uh, basically a uh, code word but for Spex's uh, so can, so home planet. The, the minus world. Where all negative losers go. <laughs> yeah, drown yourself, Spex. Entertain me, fat boy, and, and drown. I learned myself. Going for the <laughs> right. Life of the you know it's a lie world. when it starts with him saying, says, and here's something I learned myself. If you go into that before the text comes up, You'll skip worlds two. Uh, you robbed that from a five. forum. Everybody I knows it. Cool. I don't know where you got it. Maybe NeoGaf, maybe Kotaku, you know, Newgrounds. But I'm giving this you didn't. You didn't come school. up with that on your 10 own. Ten out of ten. I mean, my God, man! When you're doing a game review, there are certain things that you need to take into account. One, the people watching it are not retards. They're watching it because they know what the fucking game is. You need to bring something to the table they have not seen before. Some piece of information that is interesting. And not, oh, Super Mario Brothers was really Doki Doki Panic that was reskinned. Well, Fuck opener, that. I know that. Show, I play the Mario Brothers you games. You need to tell me ocean, something I don't know. You need to tell me something ocean, interesting, ocean, unique, it something other people have never seen screen. before, haven't heard before. Well, a, you game know, a trick like maybe that's not uh, readily known, a secret, interesting backstory into the characters and the creators, but you're not even doing that. You're telling me basic shit a retard knows. Instance, people who don't play video games jump, aren't going to watch a review of this video game. In the head. people who do play it are so going to watch it. So why are you treating those people like they've never played it before? It doesn't make sense. God, what the fuck? And besides, you're doing a fucking Wii review. 
Shouldn't you be spotting the differences? Shouldn't you be telling me what makes this unique? No, you're just reviewing Mario Brothers. So what was the whole fucking point of talking about them being on the Wii? God, you're retarded! But of course, that's asking too much, right? I mean, my god. For him to do that, I think hell would have to freeze over. It's just never gonna happen. There's also a hidden world <gasps> special zone. A special zone? I didn't know that. It's not like Nintendo Power told me that ten years ago. God. Thanks for the news flash, asshole. God damn it. Yeah. What's the rating? Let's see. It's ten out of ten, maybe. Ten out of ten. Oh, what a shock! God. Oh, another perfect game. Of course. We could never criticize it for anything. Oh, God, I want to hit myself with a bat, stick my face in a blender, and light myself on fire. Oh, what unique things do you have to share? What great secrets are you going to tell me? Maybe that it used a new controller? Oh, that it was on the N64? God. Oh, my God, is he being quiet? Oh shit. <laughs> I was I was building up hope there. And you could do a cool little triple jump at times too, which will help you along the way. Are you serious? You're telling me I can do a triple jump? Quickly, I need to get to GameFAQs and explain to them the uh, magnificent triple jump he speaks of. Oh my god, I'm going to be, you know, a legend for breaking that kind of news to them. God, it's like he read out of the instruction manual. And that's what he did. He, he he took the instruction manual and he's reading verbatim what the fuck it says. That's his game review. That's, that's what he's doing. It's not even a review. He's just reading the fucking instruction manual to me. You can do a triple jump. You can rotate the camera. Be sure to pick up power-ups. Avoid the bad guys. Well, thanks there. Thanks for that insightful knowledge. God, he sucks at reviews. Don't mess with Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're so fucking funny, man. Ah. <sighs> Like in the past Mario games, you get power-ups in this one. Oh, yeah, like God, here we go. He's going to talk about the power-ups. You have the Vanish Cap, God. which makes Mario transparent and allows him to pass through... Really? I, I thought the Vanish Cap made him, you know, get and explosive diarrhea. Cap, which makes Thanks Mario for clearing that up. ...and allows him to walk underwater. Mario's jump from 2D to 3D is definitely a successful one. But I do have one little complaint about this first 3D game. Oh, let's hear this. The camera. Many times it's annoying and a huge are, are you fucking kidding me? The, the game was known for being oh god. It was like the first 3D game that was good because the camera worked. And you're bitching about that? It's the one thing that makes the game unique and that's the one problem you have? It's the same thing he bitches about in Sonic. It's the exact same thing he bitches about in Sonic. The camera. Unbelievable. He's taking the same argument and he's putting it on a new series. God, if he could somehow bitch about Griffith, that would be, like, his wet dream come true. Thank God Griffith never touched Mario, or we'd never hear the end of this. Okay. Let's see what insightful shit he has for this one. <gasps> a racing game, you say? I thought Mario Kart involved, you know, <laughs> brain surgery, or flying a NASA shuttle. Yeah, right, because the physics of this game were so fucking good that, you know, the weight class actually mattered one bit. Either you were Bowser or you weren't Bowser, and that was pretty much fucking it. You were either a one-ton fat ass or you weren't. Racing, you can pick up power -ups and weapons to help attack oh enemy. god, do you see what I mean? How retarded does he think we are? All you do in this game is drive and shoot shit at each other. And he's explaining that that's what you do in the game. Oh. About the only honest thing this dumb fucker has said the entire time. While two to four players can do versus mode and battle mode. Oh, a fun racing game and possibly the best multiplayer what do you guess, 10 out of 10? I give this game an 8 out of 10. Oh, well, thanks for explaining it, right? Because you don't need to tell me why you knocked two points off. Let's just leave it at 8 out of 10. That's good enough. I like how he superimposes great over that, like you can even so read it. All the Mario games I have. <laughs> Look at the edges on this! Autistic 13-year-olds on fucking 4chan can do better fucking paint, you know, pictures than this dipshit. Oh, is it over? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm religious now. It's over. <laughs> yeah, thanks for telling me it was your gameplay. Right. Like, I believe that one second. I think what really happened is he found a way to remove the uh, little watermark from game trailers that were in the other videos. That's why we only had one uh, copyright theft so far. I'm sure more are coming, though, so we're just going to have to wait. 
Oh, God. I'm losing faith in humanity watching this shit. Rip by Spax. So, well, we're gonna count that as a theft, so that's 45. Next review, Super Paper Mario. Ooh, I can't wait! Visit EB Games. He's still whoring that thing out. Like, anybody wants to shop at that fucking hell house. God, they rob you blind there. Oh, and that's 46. Ah, oh, shit. Thank God it's over. So, what do we learn about Mario Brothers? Well, apparently there are enemies that you want to avoid, getting power-ups is good, and trying to not die is a smart strategy. Thank you, Spax, for enlightening us all with these great and deep insights into these games. I don't think any of us would survive if you had not told us such things. You fucking cunt. God, I mean, come on. He's treating us like we're retarded. I mean, it's just insulting. I didn't... There was nothing interesting in that review. There was nothing unique in that review. You talked about four games, and you told me nothing that I couldn't have found out if I had just opened up the instruction booklet. God damn it, man. All right, well, that's the end of... Uh, 5D. Uh, I have a proposition, because I'm losing my mind with this. Uh, I'd like to get somebody to help me out on this. I could use another commentator. I could use some people to help me out with this. Somebody just to sit down and watch this shit with me so I don't lose my mind, because doing commentaries on this is draining as hell, and it'd be nice to have somebody to play off of. So if uh, anybody's interested, Contact me on my YouTube page at GamesGoodMeBad, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a good day.